Go to File, Print, and then you can, you can head right into the properties of the machine to have access to the different features. So we're going to start with job type. So um, by default, we have set a normal print, which means that when you click OK, your job is uh, automatically going to come out as normal. Um, you do have some options here. You can ask for a secure print. This enables you to program a code. We already have one here, but you can, if you're not sure or you don't remember what it is, you can go ahead and program right over it. Um, when you do enter your passcode, it is going to ask you to confirm it. So it has to be numbers only, so between four and ten digits. So you have to just confirm that, press OK, and then you go ahead and press OK again and OK. So then you can take your time, head, head over to the machine, and uh, we'll be showing you that part uh, uh, right away as to how to go ahead and release that secure print. So the next thing we'll look at, so file, print, Again, in Properties. Again, under Job Type, we'll look at Sample Set. This is if ever you have a large quantity of uh, printing to do, and you'd like to have a little look at what uh, your print looks like before actually releasing the entire quantity. You could, you could ask, let's say you need 100. You ask for your 100, but ask for a sample set. So when you get to the machine, there'll only be one. You can have a look at it. And directly at the machine, you can decide whether or not you want the rest or if you want to delete them and start over. Delayed print enables you to go ahead and set what time you want the machine to print your job. So let's say it's a large job. You want to print during lunch break or after work hours. You can go ahead and define the time where you'd like uh, when you'd like the job to be printed. Um, next is your saved job. So there is a way that you can actually save your job. So rather than actually printing them, this job, for example, will go to, my, uh, to a folder and you can name your job here. By default here, we've got the public folder. Um, if you make it private, you can go ahead and, and again create a passcode for that. Otherwise, you can just simply name your job click OK, and rather than printing, it's going to go uh, and be saved into a public folder at the machine, and you can go ahead and, and print that any time from the machine. And you can make changes to if you want it two-sided, if you how many copies you want, and from which paper tray. So you've got some freedom there at the machine as well. Next um, is fax. So you can actually fax directly from your computer. So under job type, select fax. You're going to click on the little uh, recipient uh, icon here and the two required fields are the name and the fax number of the recipient so if you have to if in your company when you're calling out you have to dial the nine well you would have to dial the nine here as well so in this example we'll use the nine and then go ahead and dial the number okay um, and just click on OK um, and then OK again, so on and so forth. If you want to save this number, you can go ahead and create um, a, a, an address book direct from here, and then you can access it from here. So your phone book is available from here. This can also be programmed by your systems administrator. You can ask for a cover sheet. So by default, we don't have a cover sheet, but if you come here, you can ask to print a cover sheet. And you, can, uh, you, you do have to enter your information here. The recipient's information has already been entered, but you do have to enter your own information here and just click OK. In the Options tab, um, by default, you are getting a confirmation, so it's going to be printed at the machine. If ever you don't need one, you can disable that, or you can even ask to have it sent to your email address and enter your email address here, so you'll get your confirmation by email. Um, again, you have a few other options here, the speed, the resolution, um, if you want to send your fax at a particular time, or if you want to add a prefix, for example, like the 9, or else a credit card number if ever you're dealing with uh, codes for uh, long distance uh, faxing. Moving right along, we'll put this back to normal print. So, next thing would be, for example, this letter. I'd like to print this letter on some letterhead. So to choose my letterhead, I'm going to go to File, Print. And under Properties, I'm going to go to Paper. From here, I've got options. I can see I can print on other size, other color, other type, other, uh, or select by tray. So I'm going to select by type in this case, and I'm going to choose Letterhead. So what's going to happen when I send my print job um, to the machine, so if I'm going to go ahead and send that, 
since we don't actually have letterhead of the machine, it's just not going to do anything. I'm going to get a, a, an error message saying that I'm missing paper. So all I have to do is, when I have a chance, get to the machine, place my letterhead, uh, my letterhead in either the bypass tray or one of the trays, which I'll be showing you how to do, to release that job. Another thing, okay, so if you go to File, Print, Properties, something I'd like to point out, because I've, I've asked a lot of things here. Right down here, you've got your reset button. So that's the equivalent of the yellow button at the machine. It puts all your defaults and your, your settings back to the default settings. All right. Um, so right under paper here, you'll find the two-sided printing. We have it by default, two-sided print. If ever you don't want a two-sided print, you can go ahead and select one-sided. So you've got the option of one-sided, two-sided, or two-sided uh, flip on the short edge. So the stapling, um, the machine can staple. With this particular uh, finisher module, you can ask for one simple staple. So you just ask one staple. Like this. Your resolution, we have it at high resolution. You can switch that to, you've got enhanced, standard, or fast color. Okay. And the output destination, um, by default, I don't know, <clears throat> it depends. Different, uh, different settings can be, you can have your your prints come out here in the center of the machine or else out here in the finisher. Um, so if you want to manually change that, you can come here and uh, select either the top tray or the stacker tray. Um, you can um, create um, some saved settings. Um, if you have jobs that we have regularly that you want to print on letterhead or uh, you want one-sided, uh, stapled, uh, secure print. Go ahead and set, set everything up the way you want it. Let's say letterhead, stapled. Okay, so set everything up. Go to Save Settings and click Save As. Give it a name and click OK. So just to show you, if I press on the reset button here, <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so just to show you, now I've pressed on the reset button. To recall that programming, all I have to do is go to Save Settings and select. I called it Test, so select Test. And you can see that all of the settings that I had set came back. So let's just do a little reset here. So right next to your reset button here, you'll find the Earth Smart Settings. This is to reduce your carbon footprint. Um, so by default, what we have here uh, set for the um, Earth Smart Printing is the two-sided print with no banner sheet. So you can even go further with that and ask for two up to have two images up on one sheet. And you can ask for a sample set. This avoids waste, of course. So that's your Earth Smart Printing. And right over here under Status, you'll find, um, you can see actually where you're up to with your different toner levels and your paper levels. If you want to find out a little bit more what's going on at your machine, more status, you can just click here. And you can see if there's any errors uh, happening at the machine. So this is just telling me that uh, I need some resources. This is from a job that I sent earlier asking for special paper that I don't have at the machine. And it's just indicating that tray one is empty. That's fine. I've got my active jobs here. So this is what, I've, what I have uh, held in the active queue. These are my completed jobs. Right next to completed jobs, you'll find permissions. Um, what you see in green uh, is the time when you're, the printer is actually available to you. Your systems administrator is able to define uh, what time of day, what days the printer is actually open and available to you. So in this case, you can see it's opened Sunday, Sunday to Sunday. So you can actually print any time here, but uh, it could be set for, to stop it being available after 5 or not available on the weekends. So there you go.